It began as like a little tiny embryo, I guess for want of a better word, and as I began doing more and more research and became more and more aware of the gravity of the situation and the, yeah, I guess the, the prevalence that it has today, even more so after everything that's been going on with the EU and things like that, I think it's, it's become something that I really want to help people who aren't necessarily as aware of the situation to understand in an easy, like, accessible um, manner, I think, because poetry really does that, I think, for a lot of people. It all began in the mid-19th century. Our ancestors travelled to the United States in search of financial aid. Fast forward 136 years, present day, and, well, nothing has changed. Immigration still happens. Por la misma razón. La ayuda. Help. That's all they want. Immigration is happening, even though it's not necessarily happening around us and we're not necessarily close to it. It's happening and it is a big problem. I talk about immigr immigrants not having an identity in my poem. Sin trabajos, sin dinero, sin dinero, sin casa, sin alimento, sin salud, sin felicidad. Without identity. No identity. For me, looking at the poem in a different language, as I did do for, um, in preparation while I was creating it, um, it motivated me to look up the words and find out and discover another language. I, did, I looked at a lot in French, and I have studied French, but I didn't know any of the words that I was listening to. So I learned a lot about that, and I hope people can do the same with my poem. Um, but I think for the majority of the times, I do express the English as well as the Spanish, so it is quite easy to understand, I hope. El movimiento de una persona en un país de destino a los que no son nativos. I wonder what's to come this year. 2016. The year of the monkey. The Rio Olympics. An ESA spacecraft to Mars. Orbits and, wait for it, my favourite. A space hotel for tourists. I voted in and I think a lot of people my age did. Um, and so working in a country that voted out and dealing with the consequences of that, I think that it's immigration and the topic of immigration is going to be something that the younger generation need to be more aware of and need to think very carefully about and generously about as well. And I hope that it becomes more and more positive um, just in spite of what's happened with the EU and the referendum. Sin papeles, sin trabajos, without identity, no identity, no body, nadie.